me. take care of everything I had Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Under the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. If only a new student were to help me with... my broom and broke six bones this cannot possibly be as difficult hello i don't believe we've met oh hello i'm lenora pardon me if i seem a little distracted at the moment everyone thinks i'm utterly balmy samantha thinks i'm potty but it's this painting 
I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Anyone in the wizarding world could outdo the bank. Revenia.
Velio. Rebellion. I should investigate. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Assistance. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? 
I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. like a plantago. How nice to see you, my young friend. But, Mummy... Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, Mummy. They're beautiful. These horses... With wings. Oh, that's enough. Mavelia, I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Ah, now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, Mummy. Ha. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? 
Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. I hope to see you again sometime. Rebellion. I never thought Ramrock's loyalist. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost. They attacked you. Oh, Ram. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. Ah, slim though the chance. It was nice meeting you. Very Wish it had been under better circumstances. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringos, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Protego! This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is.
I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime. Tigger.
have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid back! been accosted in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone Rebellion. swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. 
What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Revelia. These pills Rebellion. are pyres, and pyres are meant to be lit. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. I wonder who lives here. Revelio. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my cards. After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Incendio! Let 
Rebellion. An encampment. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Bad. Oh, I'm 
rebellion. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? See you again sometime. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. 
The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little bit. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. 
Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not... Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Disney will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. Here we are. Hope. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. 
I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Me, my. Thank you. 